It's hard to keep your chin and your lip from shaking when it starts going. You ever notice that? <laughs> Camera work, by the way. The Okay, I'm gonna... Dude, this has all been, like, trippy. I thought he was laying down. Right there. Um, and piano. Piano. I don't know why I wasn't expecting piano. And that whole... When he was moving side to side like that, that camera work was sick. And then when it was twisting through and there was, like, the reflection of the piano thing, damn, son. And then I thought he was laying down, but apparently he's not. Okay. And the whole, you know, this little melody that's going on, this piano one, do, 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 it's kind of, there's a little, it's kind of nice, but then there's a little thing at the end, of, I'll have to hear it again, it's like a little sinister feeling, you know what I mean? Did I skip back or? Yeah, because the dude's laying down, or not. Okay, we'll go from there. The way it... Gotta be red in it. I'm sweating. words were my my gimme two years old he was walking three years old walking quickly four years old he was running round the pavements of his city five years old and his daddy told him listen here son you gotta learn to be a man a man he works for what he wants six years old and he's reading writing top of the bunch and when he's seven his progression made him student number one eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades nine his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame ten eleven twelve thirteen he ascends and ascends his daddy tells him son money is the means to all ends fourteen so bruv okay he's fucking hell he's, i'm already getting <clears throat> the drama that's coming from the piano excuse me i just had my lunch and there's like shit going on <clears throat> sorry the drama that's coming from the piano there's so like i said at the start there's like a sinister there's been a sinister vein running through it this entire time i like how he like 
I don't know if that was like some kind of subliminal, but when he finally seen himself in the mirror, he's like, what's this shit? And took it off. Okay. You know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say, innit? It's like, the fuck? It's like everything else has made him that dude with a bag on his head playing the piano. And then when he finally stopped and looked in the mirror, he could then be himself. I, I don't know. That's what I'm taking from that. And now this little kid is being... Okay, dude, shut up. Stop talking. Did we skip back? Surely, surely. He was 14. He was about to turn 14. And his parents are already... Okay. Shut up, let's go, let's go, let's fucking go. He is old and he's praised for unusual grades. Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. Fourteen, solving complex mathematic equations. At fifteen, IQ 150, still elevating. Sixteen, he develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. 17 and he sells his vision Keeping the share Not yet an adult But he's practically a millionaire 18 and his daddy tells him Now you're a man This world don't give a damn about you So take all that you can 19 he turns a profit Stocks and shares Invest in product 20 double down deposits 21 his income rockets 22 he learns the truth Is just an obstacle to wealth If you manipulate the data Then the lie will sell itself 23 a life of luxury Crystal and cocaine 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name 25, and his daddy tells him, listen here son While you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won 26, a business shift, he switches business to arms He's 27, dealing nuclear and shells in Iran 28, inside the Senate, money bought him a seat He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's suite Now he's 30, his daddy says you're losing the race You're just a servant to the king, not even in second place 31, a big manoeuvre for his daddy's approval Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba 30 Okay, oh, fucking hell, there's so much to go through in there I'm shaking I'm shaking Just give myself a look There's so, I was just thinking, right, it's so weird that it, Just that little, for his daddy's approval line Because I was sitting here thinking, well He's doing all this shit, but he's not mentioned anything about the dude's like actual happiness. And you know what I mean? It's like he's doing it because he would. That, that's how he was brainwashed to go. You know what I mean? Yeah, he may be, you know, have money, maybe rich. He may be successful in certain endeavors, but like, where's where's the? You know what I mean? And then he just said for something something for his daddy's bro. I want to go back. Oh, I'm fucking shaking, bro. All right. So in the president suite, now he's 30. His daddy says you're losing the race. You're just a servant to the king, not even in second place. 31, a big maneuver for his daddy's approval. Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba. 32, moving grams, growing kilos to tons. He's 33, filling warehouses with powder and guns. 34, turf war with nobody to stop it. Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket. Mmm, the way that the music is, it changed, I don't, we came around here and then we started coming back across the room and it changed when we were over there and I noticed it, I didn't say anything, but shit got a little, you know what I mean, we changed direction and then it just did it again right there, it got so different at the, this, we're never going to get through this, this is going to be a 400 week long video. The music is doing... I don't want to say just as much, but it's doing so fucking much for the storytelling that's over the top of it, you know what I mean? It... Fucking hell. Ren. Ren. Approval, moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba. 32, moving grams, growing kilos to tons. He's 33, filling warehouses with powder and guns. 34, turf war with nobody to stop it. Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket. Because money, right? 
35. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son, but it's your father. Had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. 36, getting pissed off, abusing his product. 37, eyes glazed, disposition demonic. 38, with a prostitute, a moment of passion. Heating off a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. 39, getting reckless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed. They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward. A bullet buried in his vertebra and one in his leg. The doctor size and says I don't think you'll be walking again fuck yo I didn't see the fucking hold the phone a second I feel bad for the guy the main guy feel sorry for him <coughs> it's almost like he had no choice he's ended up Just miserable. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. He was 40 and he cursed the words, my, my, gimme. 41, he wasn't walking. 42, not walking quickly. 43, never running round the pavements of his city. 44, inside a palace with a mountain of gold But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need And his example is exaggerated versions of me And it's a version of him And it's a version of she And it's a version of you There's no escape Escaping the blame, the way we live is parasitic. Fuck the money and fame. Cut the music. Just to hold on a sec. Oh, that was so beautiful, wasn't it? It's hard to keep your chin and your lip from shaking when it starts going. You ever notice that? <laughs> that fucking... Oh. Fuck's sake. <laughs> and the way that he's brought it all round. And how he's 40 and he's not walking, you know? Fucking hell, man. It's every time, isn't it? It's every fucking time. And I try every. You know what? Before I record, I'm like, I feel strong. I can do this. You know what I mean? This one, I was like, bro, I've got to listen to this as soon as it possibly comes out. My dad's birthday today, so shout out my dad at the time of recording this. But I'm never ready. I'm never ready. I should just accept what's coming. You know what I mean? I'm about to get an emotional beatdown from. A fucking musical. The guy, man. I want to go back more. It's going to make me cry again. Again. I want to go back to literally where he's... Starting all this. It's fucking awesome. I know you guys won't mind, because you... You just don't mind. You love Ren. But Jesus. The way it's, like, really sad, and it's like... Like I said earlier, it's it's a musical. The music does so fucking much. I don't know about you, but goodness. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. He was 40, and he cursed the words, my, my, gimme. 41, he wasn't walking. 42, not walking quickly. 43, never running round the pavements of his city. 
44 inside a palace with a mountain of gold but those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold lamborghini for a life trading money for souls jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free put your hand inside the cookie jar take more than you need and his example is exaggerated <laughs> versions of me and it's a version of him and it's a version of she and it's a version of you there's no escape in the blame the way we live is parasitic fuck the money and fame call the music the woo who is going on the violin back there i didn't hear that first line that's amazing this isn't entertainment this is real life the way we live is lunacy community it declines hyperpolarized always fighting then we divide truth is less important than the money that we designed Money's an invention. Politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention. Law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. My solution. Man. They're my traces by the looks of it. Not that I know anything about bullets. Get me started on guns. It's... Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to no, always not. be sheep and put themselves before the herd, if there's more money for me. Then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. <laughs> my, my emotions don't know what to do. I've never gone from like holding back sobs to being pissed off. In however long it's, what was it, a minute? Who the fuck is outside beeping? Shut up. <clears throat> I don't mean that person outside, I'm only joking. I'm a bit fucking wound up right now. I don't know what to do with my brain. It's like everything he's saying is so true. Like, it, it. Well, wait, there's, this is long. This is long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's going to be a time and a place where I dig deep into like my thoughts and feelings about this kind of stuff. But man, you know, the way... I can do this. I can. I can talk without crying. It's the... the just everything. When I start to talk about it, I feel it build it up and I'm like... It, I, it makes me sad, it makes me mad, it makes me fucking just blown away. All the shit that goes on, the, the, the way that I'm going to start rambling and I don't want to. I won't take up a lot more of your time, I swear. And thank you, if you've made it this far, you're a fucking trooper. You really are. Comment trooper below if you... You know what I mean? I never do shit like that, but defo do. Add the word trooper to your comment if you made it this far. Instead of going, oh, this fucking guy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Rem finish. But Beyonce... No, I, I did it again, I'm sorry. I needed to calm down. I want... You know what? Let me skip back to... Yeah. Sheep and put themselves before the herd if there's more money for me. Then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Rain, 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 rain. 45. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking again. 
He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate With a 45 calibre aimed at his brain 45 a fitting number cause his age is the same Here's the words of his father, it's such a damn shame Then he presses on the trigger of a money game Me, Ren. <clears throat> Alright, there's only one second left. It might look like I was staring you guys down then, but I was looking at how many seconds were left. You guys, first of all, I'm gonna go and pre order. Is it out tomorrow or today? The album. If it's out now, I'm gonna buy it. But I saw the little pre order thing underneath this. So I'm gonna go and do that. And you should do the same. Because this fucking bloke. See, I can't even, I'm, I'm trying to just talk normally. <clears throat> it's such a weird feeling I've got right now. Like I say, I've never been holding back these. It's like, it was coming from my gut, these, this desire to just cry. Straight into anger. I was pissed off about the things that he was saying, like, yeah, yeah. Because the, the things that we hold above human life in our priority list is fucking ridiculous like for real it's holding us back like he said it, it's it's it, he doesn't see a way in which we survive that kind of setup and it's correct and a lot of you guys said on the last one you know when i started talking about money it currently i agree i agree there were a few comments that said yeah uh, uh sorry it's not a necessary evil um if we did this and this and this and changed it this way, I totally agree. But currently, in, in our current situation, it is a necessary evil. And I hate the fact that it's a necessary evil. I fully agree with you. I totally do. And it's the word, like, why, what? Someone said, all they said was bartering, I think was their comment. I think that's all they said. And I'm like, yeah. If I can walk into somewhere and say, oh, you know, I've got this for your, uh, what can you do for me kind of thing. And if we were just good to each other, you know what I mean? We'd be fine. It wouldn't be like, well, you know what I mean? Like, someone walks in and they don't quite have enough to feed themselves. Like, there's so many stories about people stealing food because they're starving or their families are starving and they get punished for it. What? Chase that all back. It's because of the money. It doesn't fucking matter about the money. If I was running a shop and I found out that someone stole from me to feed their family, I'd be like, okay, what can we do to help this fucking person? We're rich. We're good. Our money's going to keep climbing. They're in, in disarray right now. I can't understand it. But then you listen to something like this. Look how fucking thingy I'm getting. I don't ever get like this. You listen to something like this, and it's like... The ones that I look at and give the evils to, at the top of these... The top... Uh, well, I suppose they're the top of their selected game. They were raised like that. You know what I mean? Some of them weren't, right? They don't know any different. It's hard to see that when you're sitting here thinking, fucking dickheads, absolute scumbags and blah blah But it's like, they literally, their brain... <clears throat> is incapable of thinking down here and it makes me feel bad for him and then this you go and listen to something like this oh ren man look what he does he's pulling my brain he's like i've got some shit going yeah but what about this what about this what about this and then i've got other shit on the other side going yeah but you know what about this this and this like i say there's gonna i'm working on some on, on a waffle situation where i sit and I, we talk about stuff we talk about it and I'm, I'm collecting your comments and i'm taking everything in and we're going to have a big old chat it's going to be great i say there's a time and a place for it but it's so hard in it you know when you've been oh rem mate can i sorry if this is but wow seriously wow it... i want to sit down and talk to him i really do like i'm no one you know what i mean i won't even dare reach out and say oh ren you want to have a chat but if we could dig into some stuff that would be incredible i feel like that would be such a experience oh right i'm gonna you know what like i say like i said eight minutes ago i'm not gonna take up much more of your time but man i think 
a lot of you have noticed, and I'm, you know, thanks to you guys, I'm starting to notice a lot about myself, that my emotions do a lot of my talking for me. And then I feel like I've got to fill in, you know what I mean? If I went back and watched this recording now, I'd be like, bro, I can tell. You know what I mean? Like, I've gone and watched High Rent. And it's hard to get through that because I'm listening to High Ren and then I'm seeing what I'm doing and I know why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. And it's, you know what I mean? It's one big cycle. So thank you um, for teaching me about myself on this journey. And thank you for, honestly, for the support and for continuing to, to push me down the REM path. Um, which sounds like empath, which is, uh, you guys are that, you know what I mean? We are fucking, let's just, how can we not, there's so many of us, let's, we gotta change the world, it needs changing. And people like Ren give me such hope, you know what I mean? They give me such hope that the, the new generations of humans that are coming through have got much better brains in their heads, you know what I mean? In terms of like caring for each other. Look, at, I'm getting pulled in every different direction, I don't, and I've also got friggin rain, 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 rain stuck in my head, it's going round. The rain it comes away. Oh, I have to go and listen to one, two, three back to back, like right now, and get all riled up. And you know what I mean. So I'm sorry to keep you for 25 minutes. I'm sorry for being pulled in like 50 different directions. But man, I want to sit and chat to you guys, and that's coming. We're working out the logistics. I know some of you already know. <clears throat> and thank you again for everything. You're teaching me so much about me. You're teaching me so much about just having fucking hope you know what i mean i've always got hope i tried to be a positive guy i try to think in a in a happy light right it's, it's because i would just fucking lose my shit if i didn't you know what i mean so thank you thank you for the the constant reminders that there is beauty out there and there are beautiful people and there have been so many comments like tess if just you know what i mean the comments we've been chatting about please pop some up because wow you guys thank you Seriously, let me give you one one big old virtual hug. You guys are fantastic. You really are. I can't thank you enough for just the love, the support, and the feelings that you give me. I sit here and I'm looking through my phone or I'm reading my comments and stuff on there and I've got tears in my eyes. I'm sitting there doing that like chin shaking shit. You guys are incredible. <coughs> and take love and take healing vibes and take all the good positive energy to those of you out there that are struggling because you are not alone you really are not alone please if you haven't seen it go back to my little high ren waffle at the end um because i mean that you were never ever alone out there and there are always people out here that are you know they're there they're there trust me you've got to keep looking keep going and you will find them i promise you i, I i've been blessed enough to start finding folks in the dark and it's it's making things not so scary so please don't give up and please don't stop being you ever 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 you are fantastic you are awesome and righteous patrons discordians i love you guys so fucking much please never forget that but aside from all that and i mean it i'm gonna shut up now i promise please take care when you're out and about in the world because I want to see you in the next one. We've got so much Ren to do. And I'm so excited to be sitting here snotting and tearing and fucking doing all that with you. But I will see you in the next one. Stay safe. Take care. Peace and love, my friends.